A politician of significance is in the process of possibly hiring me, so I'm constantly being tested with my portfolio and intellectual property. One of my intellectual property pieces actually comes from a sibling of mine who taught me this lesson to help train people. What I learned about training people is you have to give things to them simply and educationally. When I worked in manufacturing, we had a lot of part-time workers who just didn't get they weren't just getting paid. That they were actually assembling the cars and parts on cars that provided the safety to a child, the safety to you and me. When I made that distinction in my part of a multi-person training unit, they got it and stopped pissing on our parts and stopped ruining things. They stopped acting like whatever the hell they did didn't matter and they started to care about their jobs. What I also learned from that sibling who is no longer really a part of my life is that in life we have three responsibilities, not at all, that there are the three R's of life. The three R's of life are straightforward. What is your role in this world regarding your job? What are the rules of that role in terms of where your boundaries begin and end for that job when you are serving in that job? What are the responsibilities of that job, even though there might occasionally be other duties assigned, which is usually written, and I know because I wrote a whole lot of job descriptions in my life, other duties assigned, which means if the shit hits the fan, we may need extra helping hands. But let's talk about the regularity of your life. The regularity of your life is totally caused by several things. Where you choose to live, who you choose to marry or play with for a regularity of life, and where you produce your free time in life and what you choose to do with your hard-earned dollars in life. If you want to ascend to the highest levels of any community, you're going to have to really fucking work at it. But if you keep interrupting me when I'm doing my job, I'm going to be fucking pissed off about it. You see, I live in the streets, but I still have to produce intellectual content for my portfolio. That is a part of my industry. That is a part of everything I do. That is a part of what I get paid to do for other people. And my intellectual property might piss you off, but it's going to get me that radio job. And my intellectual property might be upsetting to you politically, but that's going to get me the political consulting job. Because in life, we know that beautiful sign that we can find on a car to send to people or we can find in a store with art that says a wise man makes more opportunity than he finds. So if your life is not playing well, don't be upset with me. You have every right, thankfully, as an American citizen to choose your life, but don't play with me. The three R's of life are about you. What is your role? What are your responsibilities to that role? And what are the rules of your industry, your job, your company, the ethics, code of ethics, whatever the heck is the moral compass that leads your company to you. If you step out of that and start policing the community or interfering with other people in the duties of your job or even outside the duties of your job wearing that fucking company t-shirt, you better believe people are getting an impression of you, of your family, of your heritage, and of your company. So make sure if you're off track and you're off your job for a few hours that you're not pissing on someone's life in that company uniform. It makes your company liable today.